In this episode, we're going to create a very simple machine learned model and convert it to TensorFlow Lite for use on mobile or IoT devices. To start, we'll create a simple model using Keras. The simplest possible neural network has one layer with one unit and that takes a single input. In Keras, you'll then compile the model specifying two functions, the loss function and the optimizer. On every iteration, the framework calculates the loss using the method specified and then tries to optimize the neural network using the optimizer that's specified. Now we'll create a set of x values from negative 1 to 4. And now I'll create a set of corresponding y values for these x values. The goal will be to infer the relationship between the two. Can you see what it is? Every y value is 2x minus 1. So where x is minus 1, y is minus 3. Where x is 0, y is minus 1, etc., etc. To train the neural network, we use model.fit, passing it the x's, the y's, and a number of iterations that we want to train for. In this case, we'll say 500. So how do we test the model to see if it can infer y equals 2x minus 1 for a new value? That's achieved using the predict method. We simply pass 10 into it in an input shape, which is an array of 1. We then run the code, and the network will be trained, and we'll see that the output is 19.05, which is very close to our desired value. Given that we trained the network with a very small data set, it's still quite impressive. Now that we have a model, we can save it out as a file. This is achieved using the save model method in Keras. We'll run it, and we'll then see that linear.h5 is created. Finally, we'll convert to TF Lite using the TOCO converter. This is achieved with the from Keras model file method. We'll pass the Keras file into it. We then call the converter to convert and save its results as linear.tflight. We can run it, and then we'll see that linear.tflight is created for us. To learn more about TensorFlow, visit tensorflow.org. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.